Yeah. Oh, good shot. He got me. <laughs> hey, everybody. Woo. It's me, Yokel, back with some more Feed the Beast Revelation. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing okie dokie. I got uh, got some golem problems here. The trouble with golems. Here, let's let's take care of this real quick. Yes, you sir, you have a question. Let's have a knack for interrupting my intros. There we go. Hey guys, welcome back to Feed the Beast Revelation. I'm Yokel. I might have just said that. I don't know. I was running for my life. Hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm doing Peachy Keen. Today we are going to work on the Mineralis contraption that we started in the last episode. I've uh, cut it down to size, though. I think that I might have been sh uh, shooting shooting a little um, little for the moon there with that last setup. I had a 14 across, 15 across, something like that, or 15 down, and then I was going to do three across. It's going to be 45. It's going to be crazy. Uh, I'm going to start here with a three by four area. That's 12 blocks. That's going to be a lot easier to manage, and it'll be a good way to test how bad it's going to lag my base because I'm already starting to feel it a little bit with the starlight infuser contraption that's going on over here. So... Another hyperactive astral sorcery machine right here next to the base might not be the best idea. So we'll, we'll be able to find out and test it with this. Um, but before I can do that, I need to restart the Botania base. And that's why I have all of this dirt with me here. Let's see. Oh, let's actually, let's get out our formation one. That'll make this a little bit easier. Probably pay attention. There's probably creepers around here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to create a bit more of a flat area right up here, I think. Just kind of in this general area. Maybe let's see here if we can. I think, woo, hey, oh, hello. Why did I pick nighttime to start this? I think what I might need to do is I think I might need to run some powered lanterns over here just to kind of calm this down a little bit. So we're gonna, what we're going to want to do is we're going to come out about like, yeah, or, oh, hey. <laughs> You know, I keep forgetting, I don't actually need to go, like, all the way over where I want to place uh, stuff with this wand. You can, I mean, look at this range here. Oh, hello. Ah! All right, all right, you guys done? Okay, jeez. Yeah, look at that. Bing, 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 bing. I can even, look, I can set them, like, way out there. I need to make just, a, a, like, a little base up here, just like a little house, a little hut, a little farm, a little barn. I don't know, maybe we'll do a, oh, we'll, we'll do another mushroom house, yeah, because I did one up there. Yeah, so do a little mushroom house and uh, put the uh, put the pedestal in there, put this guy in there, the, sorry, the apothecary, I always say pedestal, but it's not that. I'm going to put this down here, just start gathering up some mana. This is probably not where this will uh, stay, but uh, it'll work for right now. Get me. Come get me. What? Oh, psych! There you go. Now that we've cleaned up all the garbo out here, let's put our coal in here. Get some of the... Hello, Mr. Deer. Let's get some mana genin. I've talked about this before. I don't think I ever showed you guys. Probably not that interesting, but we're going to look at it anyway. See, you can't put these mushrooms down because there's too much light out here. Let's see. Let's, let's look at F3. So if you look over on the left-hand side there... About uh, halfway down, slightly above halfway down, you see light. It says 15, 15 sky. And that is way too high to plant a mushroom. I think they need to be like 12 or something like that. So how we block that sky block light is, we see one, two, three, four, three, four, five. Okay, so this will be the edge of the first mushroom. And then one, two, three, four, five. That'll be the edge of the other mushroom. Great. Okay, so we're just going to put it. Yeah, hang on. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a roof up here. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, this is where the first mushroom will be. So we need to go out one, two, three, four, I believe, from there. One. Here we are again, right? One, two, three. Okay, and here's where the center of the uh, other mushroom will be. Okay, so that is the first one there. Let's see. Let's get out here now. We should be able to plant this. One, two, three. It should go right there. Yeah, cool. Now, let's, let's look at the skylight now. Right in this spot, it is 11, and it's 12 right here. So can we plant it there? What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Why? I shouldn't be able to plant it in all those spots. Well, I might have lied to you guys. Maybe it didn't need to be that that much. Yeah, okay, I can't plant. Okay, here's 14, 13, 
12. Okay, so it needs to be 12 or under. All right, so I went, I went a little, little overboard, but that's okay. Now we're going to grab our bone meal, and we're going to make this one grow. Yep, there we go. Oh, nice. Perfect. It's kind of a tall one. I like that. Uh, sadly, you can't get them to butt right up next to each other naturally, so that's why I had to leave a gap here. And hopefully, oh, look at that. The same size. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Silk Touch shovel. And look at that. I got a boop. Cool mushroom block. And this is where my hyperactive infused shovel comes in really handy. <laughs> Yay. And there we have two very nice mushrooms ready to be made into some kind of structure. Yeah, so we'll definitely want to go across like this. Who's coming? Oh, come on. You. Leave me alone. Why don't you just let me work? Stop bothering me. Ah! No! All right, and then we will bring our pedestal in here. Um... Think about this for a second. Oh, you know what? I've got an idea. I have got an idea. I think this is going to work. All right. Grow. Here we go. And are we slightly lower? Is that okay? Do I mind? Um, no, that's kind of cool, man. It gives it some character, doesn't it? I mean, we're going to, there's going to be like a wall here anyway, I think. So yeah. Okay. That's cool. No, I can, I can, I can live with that. Let's take a quick look at my house over here and remember what we did. Okay, so we've got the uh, dark oak bark. We've got the spruce slabs. We got the panes. Can do that. Dent. Yeah, there we go. Woo! <laughs> Anytime you uh, open, right click with the uh, the chisel to, to to do stuff in the interface, it winds up the uh, Visio wand. <laughs> Same thing if you're eating. It's kind of disconcerting. You're eating and all of a sudden you, you stop eating and then it like it just launches you. Yes, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful mushroom botania building. Guys, I'd just like to point out this is the fanciest, fanciest mushroom building I have ever made. Okay, guys, I have collected... Whoa! <laughs> I've collected a golem. Okay, uh, ow, Boy, he, he, he hit me post-death there. I've put, uh, I've put together, I think, hopefully, everything we need here to do the next step. So I've moved this apothecary back one spot so that I can line the uh, wall that it's on against this wall right here. What I really like about the apothecary is that you can automate it if you're clever. And one of the things you can do is uh, you can read, take a redstone signal off of it. So it's empty, there's no signal. It's full, there's a signal, and you can do it through a block, which is really cool, because that means you can hide it. You can hide your mechanism behind a wall. Um, so, let's see here. Um, what's going to happen is, there's going to be a redstone torch here, and it's going to control this mechanical user. We're going to set it to activate block on redstone on. There'll be a sink right here. This will get a bucket. When there is a signal, it'll fill it with fill it. Then it will send it through an item duct. We're gonna whitelist water buckets. Okay. Uh, and then that is going to feed into an automatic precision dropper. And that will drop it on on there. Hopefully, <laughs> if all goes well. So let's check. Uh, oh wait, and then we have the uh, we have the ranged collector right here, and we will tell it to pick up empty buckets. There we go. So what will happen? Here's the idea: is um, we'll do our thingy here, and it'll use the water that'll become empty. It'll send. Uh, it'll cut off the signal, which will turn this on which will fill the bucket, send it through here, drop it, and then it'll be picked up by the collector over here from Gadgetry, the ranged collector, and put into the adjacent inventory, which is the mechanical user. So let's see if it works. Um, redstone on, so it should be ready to go. Activates. And there we go. Look at that. Ta-da! All right, let's see if it works here.
No. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so it's cycling. It's it's working. It's working, but it's cycling a bit back here before it actually drops it. Here, let's. Uh, I think I know what it's doing. Let's see if we can take a look at it here. Yeah, see, it's emptying it and filling it and emptying and filling it, and then eventually it's sending it. Um, it might have something to do with the pipe I'm using. Maybe it's too slow. Uh, so let's maybe go look at that here. Let's put a little light source back here first. So we don't get any more, any more golems. I've got this, um, this impulse item duct here. Let's see if this will solve our problem. This thing it says it moves items rapidly. No. Hmm. Did not solve the problem. Well, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm not going to worry about it. It's working and it's working well enough. So I'm going to go ahead and close this off. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these drawers down here with some trim. Right? And then I'm going to snake some trim over here. Like that. Let's see, we'll put these back now. And then I can put a drawer here. We can put the controller in here. Lasso. That's not the controller. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. Put the controller in there like that. Great. Okay. And now, let's see, four. Yeah. Okay. There's all the pedals. Uh, and there's some grass seed. Let's go grab our flower petals. I thought what I'd do is put them in the order that they kind of want to be in. I don't know why, <laughs> but I will. So white, white, brown, green, red, and black. Cool. All right, now we can go lock those. Uh, those should be connected. Why aren't they connected? They're not connected. Why aren't they connected? There's trim, trim. Oh, there's no, there's no connecting trim over here. Yeah, it's got to be a piece of trim right there. There we go. Okay, now they're connected. Yeah, okay. Lock, unlock, unlock, lock. Great, there we go. Okie dokie, got that all settled. Kind of assume they would really only uh, spawn. Uh, kind of figured they would only spawn around their little huts. You are quick. Oh, jeez. Well, what I need to do is I need to make a ruin of earth. Ruin of earth. I'm going to need mana powder and mana steel. There we go. One mana powder. <laughs> Paranoid. Paranoia. One man of steel. Uh, a stone. The man of powder and the man of steel. There we go. And then we're going to put a living rock on there. Chink. And then wait. There we go, ready to go, and boom, hurrah, there we go, drop the, drop pop candy, what? Redstone root, need one of those, and one of our ruins, I think, is that it? Yeah, that's it, now we just need to grab a, oops, grab a grass seed, throw that in there, boom, there we go, and... Wink. 
<laughs> Yay, it worked. Okay, great. Here we go. We've got our Ren and Carpus. We are on our way. Let's see. But before we can use it, I need to go over here and grab a... Yeah, there they are. Pistons. Okay, I need to grab a piston. So what the Ren and Carpus will do is uh, it will place things for us. We put the we put the piston down there. We put the random carpus on a piece of dirt above it. Yeah, and it's going to pick up blocks that are on the ground near it and place them on top of whatever block is underneath the dirt that it's on. In this case, a piston. So that's how that's going to work. Can we go back further though? Okay, like so. Wow, awesome. Well, this is gonna, this is, that's great. That'll actually serve us like this whole block here if we decide to do the whole block. So good. All right, so there's our block placer. Now that we've got our stone placer down, let's start working on this mechanism here. I don't think we're going to have time to do the harvesting today, but I'll try to get the uh, thing working that's going to push this stuff up. So here's what we're going to need. We're going to need a bunch of redstone stuff, including this wire and this connector from redstone wire and redstone connector from Immersive Engineering. Uh, then we're going to need a sensor from RF Tools, a transmitter from RF Tools, a sequencer, and some receivers. And the transmitters and the receivers are set to the same channel right now. So here's how this is going to work. I'm going to place this sensor down right here. And you can see I've got the uh, orange facing that way. And that is where the signal comes out of the sensor. And what we're sensing are stone. I set this up already. Uh, I'm looking for stone. So I got it set to block type stone. And I'm looking in an area three blocks in front of the sensor, and I'm looking for at least one match. So there has to be at least one stone in this line right here to send a signal. So let's see if that works. So, got that. Oh, here, let's let this place it. Yeah, work. Okay, and there our signal came on. Now, when the ritual turns it back into an ore, assuming it does, <laughs> it will turn off. And probably be any second now. Ah, there we go. Okay, and look, the signal went off just like we needed it to. Hooray! Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to invert that signal. So I'm going to do that with a redstone torch. Ye old school, you know. So now I can take this transmitter. There we go. Yeah, take the transmitter. And I believe this is the input here. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, let's see. Our receiver should be giving us a signal now. Yep, there we go. Okay. So what's happening is the signal is passing through. No, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, so there is no signal here. So our redstone torch is sending a signal to our transmitter, which is being pushed through the receiver. So now, by that uh, logic, if I put a stone here, yep, nope, that didn't work. Um, okay, the, uh, the signal wasn't actually being passed into that block from the sensor, so we're gonna send it into a repeater. Then we should be able to invert it. Yep, nope, other way. Now, if you to determine which way this thing uh, faces the sequencer or, or any of these little RF tool slabby thingies, uh, it depends on which like edge of the face you try to place it on. So if I place it on like over here on this side, it's going to point that way. So that's an easy way to remember that. Okay, so our signal is off. As soon as this turns into an OR, we should get a, another signal. I'm going to go out and check out the uh, mineralis uh, thing out here make sure it's all working properly okay so it looks like yeah they're all they're all connected there yeah we got the got the thingy there going there ah look 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 we don't it's not linking up is this one linking up that one is okay why is that not linking up hmm it was linked before look i can't even i can't even select it here take that out of my hand unlinked Electric crystal from ritual pedestal. So it said it was already. 
Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You working now? There we go. Okay, I, I don't know. Maybe it was a visual bug. I don't know. It didn't look like it was working, though. It didn't act like it was working. Yeah, I've had some issues with these rituals ceasing to work if I go to the nether and then come back. So, I don't know. Yeah, the little buggy. Okay, there we go. It changed into coal, and boom, there we have our signal. So, what we want to do is we want to take this signal now and go down here underneath. And this is where our redstone connectors are going to come in handy and our redstone wire. Uh, and then, um, <laughs> can I wire it? Let's see. I'm, I haven't got to this far yet. Let's see. Um, redstone wire to there. And then I'm going to want to send a, my signal into this block. Oh, this is ugly. <laughs> this is ugly. It's going to work, though. Okay, so now we've got a repeater here. Let's put the sensor on it. Excuse me, the se sequencer. Let's put the sequencer on it. Uh, the sequencer is set to send one uh, pulse, basically. Uh, there's no delay, essentially. It's uh, one, one blip sequence. It's once and done. So when a redstone signal is received, loop the cycle once, ignore further pulses. So it's just going to bloop, send a pulse, and that's it. That's where the receiver comes in handy. So the receiver is yep, going to go in there. And then that's where we need the transmitter. Hmm, this is not working. I was really sure this would pass a signal through to here, though. So why didn't it? Yeah, that is, uh, that's not working. That doesn't do anything. So, um... Maybe this needs to be input and these need to be output. Ah, there we go. I had it backwards, guys. What needs to be, uh, what needed to happen is this one needs to be set to input because I am inputting redstone signal to it. And then these need to be output. Okay, now that we've got all that set back up, let's put some stones down here and let's go take a peek and watch the, watch the magic happen here. Oh, here comes some. Here comes a red dot. Just in time. It's going to mess everything up, aren't you? There. Aha! All right, there it worked. And there we have it. These guys are so excited. They want to come see it too now. All right. The pulse is key. The pulse is key because you want those pistons to go back down so that the random carpus can actually put the stuff back on it that it needs to. Guys, this is great. This is how we're going to end the episode. Same way we started it. <laughs> Alrighty, friends, that is going to do it for today. That is all I have time for. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys had a good time. Hope you learned a little bit of something or another. And come back in the next episode and we'll finish up this machine, hopefully. And uh, everyone will be dazzled, including myself. So thanks a lot. Have a great one. Feed the bee.